hope you like vodka. Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode. Her desperate cries rang out from under storm debris. And arming teachers as a last line of defense, the governor could soon make guns on school campuses a reality. Out of 42 vehicles, based on six different criteria, why did a panel of 11 automotive experts name the Volkswagen Golf Motor Trends 2015 Car of the Year? We'll give you four good reasons. The Volkswagen Golf. Starting at 19295, there's an award-winning golf for everyone. Spring is here, and so is a great deal from AT&T. Get the Samsung Galaxy S6 for zero down and get a free Samsung tablet. Springtime is savings time at AT&T. For 100% your best, 100% our best. New Outshine Simply Yogurt Bars. Made with 100% yogurt and real fruit for 100% yogurt yum. New Outshine Simply Yogurt Bars. Snack brighter. Howard Stern's Big Farewell Today. No! And Don Rickles tonight. This team takes the spy game to a whole new level. You up for this? I was the queen of the frogs, sweetheart. The Heart Stein season finale. If you lie to me about my father, I'm going to kill you. The NCISLA season finale next Monday. Right now on 9, trapped under her home, he answered her cries for help. Tonight, she reunites with a man who saved her life. Plus, a man pledges loyalty to ISIS before attacking a metro pastor. And I'm Steve Shaw and more. What's wrong with this picture? New problems popping up after Oklahoma's record rainfall. And we want to put a grand in your hand. Your chance to win is just moments away. This is Oklahoma's own News 9 in high definition. Good evening. Trapped under debris, she survived the tornado in southeast Oklahoma City. And now tonight, she's meeting the Oklahoma natural gas worker responsible for her rescue. News 9's Jolene Cheney is live near southeast 44th and Eastern with the new developments tonight. Jolene? Well, Kelly, looking back at this mess, it's hard to believe anybody would make it out of this alive. But there's a woman who did. She's about 70% deaf, but shared with us tonight her story. Blackout. 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 And then it hit. The wind was going this way, this way, this way, and boom, sound. The pressure. I was getting claustrophobia. I said, oh, God, if I have to, let me go fast. But Linda I didn't go. I stand. She stayed. Stayed behind while everyone else took shelter or was eventually rescued. Linda stayed for hours. Wall came in. The bathroom door. Debris came down from the ceiling. And buried her. In fact, the walls and ceilings of three different mobile homes came down. Linda was trapped. I screamed. But as each hour passed, Linda's screams turned to faint cries in the night. Until Corey Scaff, an Oklahoma natural gas worker, heard Linda calling for help and then alerted four Oklahoma City police officers who pulled Linda to safety. I told them to grab my wrist. Both of them. They were strong. And on. They were clearing the debris. Debris Linda almost didn't make it out of, if not for Corey. I'm just very thankful that she is alive and that we had a Mother's Day yesterday. And Linda miraculously escaped uh, escaped with really no injuries, but she did lose her hearing aids, and we've uh, put all the information for her GoFundMe account to help purchase new ones over on our website at news9.com. Live in Southeast Oklahoma City, Jolene Cheney, News 9. Jolene, thanks for the update. Best wishes to Linda as well. Jim Gardner and Bob Mills Sky News 9 HD in the air during the discovery of a burned body found inside a crash car at Covell and Air Depot. Now, a week later, the medical examiner identifies the victim as 38-year-old Colin Kennard. The manner of death is listed as an accident. 
The ME also confirms remains found last July outside the Correctional Center in Fort Supply are that of an inmate who escaped back in January 2012. His name is Michael Weber, but his cause and manner of death cannot be determined. Tracking crime now, a Metro man is accused of threatening to behead a former pastor. Uh, the victim tells War Acres Police Marvin Martinez also asked him if he was afraid of ISIS, then referred to himself as ISIS. Uh, the affidavit says Martinez assaulted the victim before taking off and then being caught. A charge is filed against a convicted sex offender for trying to solicit sex from a 13-year-old girl. Oklahoma County court filings show Ed Scherberger, or Scherger, rather, is accused of saying he wanted to make a child porn star. This affidavit says Sugar left 27 minutes of lewd voicemails for the girl over just two months. Well, Governor Mary Fallon closes a loophole in Oklahoma's sex offender law. Senate Bill 167 clarifies the wording to keep offenders from living near children. As we reported in January, a Pawnee County judge ruled an offender could live near a park because the law only applied to cities, not towns. This change takes effect November 1st. And the governor's desk is the next stop for a bill allowing teachers to carry guns in schools. This will be the first time the effort to arm school workers has gained enough traction. And our News Nights Evan Anderson is live in the newsroom with more details on this big one. Evan? Yeah, Amanda, this legislation is not designed for an Oklahoma City or Tulsa-sized school district. But if the governor signs House Bill 2014 when it crosses her desk this week, any school district in the state will have the authority to designate a school worker to carry a handgun. It's meant to serve as a last line of defense in the event of a school emergency. And there's always someone out there who uh, has evil intent on their mind. Freshman Representative Jeff Cootie has been pushing the controversial legislation that could soon have some educators across the state also acting as protectors. And, and I think the thinking has always been that if we eliminate guns, it makes it a safer place. The only problem is you can't eliminate those who are not willing to comply with the law. So Cootie says the only response to that is to introduce responsible school workers to training so they're able to carry a handgun. A gun-free zone is, is a target, a soft target. We cannot play games anymore. These are the lives of our children. Ginger Tenney, executive director of the organization Professional Oklahoma Educators, surveyed more than 800 of its members across the state. That was just after 26 people, 20 students, and six adults were shot and killed at Sandy Hook Elementary in Connecticut. And so the emotion was high. They just saw children killed. They're upset. A school district's Board of Education can designate a school employee to attend an armed security guard training program or reserve peace officer program. We have to be able to stand up against the challenges that we face nowadays that are unique. It's simply those who feel that it is a need in their district, in their school. Now, arming school workers would be up to the district and completely voluntary. Representative Cootie says rural school districts will benefit the most because many can't afford campus security. Evan Anderson, News 9. That's a story we're going to follow very closely. Now, a developing story tonight. As storm cleanup continues across the state, Oklahoma City workers found a man breaking into one of their trucks. Now, they say Jonathan Sellers was rummaging through the vehicle as they worked Friday to repair the road at Southwest 44th and Santa Fe. Sellers ran from the scene, but he was quickly caught. Suspected looting from a disaster zone lands three men in jail. Police say Anthony Miller, Michael Miller, and Stanley White took an air conditioning unit from the post office last week near Southeast 44th and I-35. Well, the arresting officer says the AC actually fell out of their truck. Happening now, multi-agency response center is up and running in the tornado-ravaged area of Bridge Creek. It's at the Bridge Creek Elementary School, and volunteers are still needed to help with recovery. We have more information on that at news9.com. Meantime, students head back to school tomorrow. New at 10, you gotta see this. Heavy rains last week not only caused some underground storm shelters to pop up out of the ground, but it's also happening to a swimming pool in Moore. News 9's Steve Shell's been looking into this one for us. Steve? Amanda, Dean Williford had a concrete swimming pool installed behind his home off Northwest 2nd Street back in 1986. Williford's three children, 12 grandchildren, and so far seven great-grandkids grew up swimming in Papa's pool since way back when the Boz roamed Owen Field. We've not had any problems with drownings 
or accidents around the pool for 30 years because we've been watching it. In fact, Williford says his son David planned to drive over Saturday to repaint it and get it ready for 2015. But Saturday morning, one of Dean's grandsons looked out of one of those back windows and said, Papa, the pool doesn't look right. And how? I could not believe it. Something that's that big and so many thousands of pounds of concrete to come out and lift. Wilford says a company that installed his pool has been out of business many years. The pool was empty Saturday when it happened. Blue Haven Pool's owner, Beto Garcia, tells me that's the key. He says newer pools have special plugs that allow groundwater to flow up through drains during torrential rains, thus keeping pools in place. We've been awfully, awfully lucky. Dean Williford's a retired Navy man, a glass-is-half-full kind of guy. He thinks this may be is a sign from God. I think he's trying to tell me something now. What's he trying to tell you? Get rid of the pool. I'm 74 and, and old, and wife is up there with me, and uh, we're both uh, not really strong enough to continue taking care of it like we were. Dean says his family, and probably the insurance adjuster, might help him make the right decision. Steve Shaw, News 9. Coming up next on News 9, empty beds at county jails are costing sheriffs millions. Why they blame the state and say they're the solution to overcrowded prisons. Well, it was nice today across Oklahoma, but another couple of big storms showing up. Flooding rains possible and severe weather. What is it arrived? Your forecast is next. And we want to put a grand in your hand. Your chance to win after the break. And one local election I'm going to be watching closely tomorrow and why. My two cents coming up. It's on the ground. Oklahomans get more than their fair share of dangerous weather. I had a, a niece that was direct hit in Moore. Dr. Phil came to News 9 to share advice for adults and children. That's where they feel the anxiety building up. With another round of severe weather in the forecast, get strategies to prepare. If you do that as a family exercise, it can be a very positive thing that replaces anxiety with action. Thursday night at 10 on News 9. Hold on to your hats, Oklahoma. It's David Stanley Chevrolet's first ever truck extravaganza. One big sale. Two great locations. David Stanley and Silverado are number one. Buy now at 75% of MSRP. Over 500 new Silverados to choose from. With 0% for up to five years. Also get spray and bed liner and Nerf bars included. And at David Stanley Chevrolet, everybody rides with approved credit. Please, no dealers or wholesalers. On I-35 in Norman and I-240 in OKC. Bob Mills exclusive Companions Price always gives you the edge. Come in a little close and let's show them this five-piece Raleigh bedroom. Just $8.92. And the $300 five-drawer chest, free. Or the linen bed in the Harlow bedroom, the dresser and the mirror and the nightstand, just $14.92. And the $400 wellness series queen pillow top set, free. Free. It's always in style. Bob Mills Furniture. Discover better living. The turkey deserves your respect. It was this close to being America's national bird, and if Ben Franklin had his way, it would have been. Arby's pays respect to this venerable bird by smoking it over real mesquite wood for eight hours. No disrespect to the eagle, but it never would have tasted this good. Arby's, we have the meat. The storms have come and gone, but the savings are coming to you. Here at Fowler Toyota, as you can see, 500 vehicles, minor damage, major damage. You get the insurance money, you get the cash rebates, and you get the incentives on over 500 Toyotas and used vehicles. It's our storm and hail damage sale. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity here at Fowler Toyota, Tecumseh Road in Norman. High Definition Programming on News 9, sponsored by Cox, Oklahoma City's best choice for HD. You're watching Oklahoma Zone, News 9 in High Definition. The head of Oklahoma's correction system says our prisons are dangerously crowded. At the same time, beds at county jails that were occupied by state prisoners just over a year ago now sit empty. 
But why and what impact is this having on public safety? Tonight, Nine Investigates Alex Cameron gets some answers. There was no warning that it was coming. It just started happening. Just over a year ago, the Department of Corrections began pulling hundreds of state inmates from county jails, leaving behind a lot of empty jail beds and at $27 a day per inmate, a big hole in some sheriff's budgets. This year, it's impacted our budget to the tune of about $3 million. Oklahoma County Sheriff John Wetzel says he's cutting 112 positions to absorb the lost funds. We're going to see cuts in patrol, in courthouse security, and in the jail. Every place that we have people, we'll see service cuts. And not just in Oklahoma County. The Sheriff's Association reports $12 million and 195 jobs lost in sheriff's offices across the state. Wetzel says inevitably this puts the public at greater risk. You always look at uh, when you cut personnel, you enhance the risk. DOC's abrupt removal of its JNS inmates, inmates who've been judged and sentenced but not yet turned over to state custody, also jeopardized public safety, the Sheriff's Association says, by putting state prisons over capacity and forcing DOC to release inmates early. A lot of these people that they knew uh, that had been sentenced, that they had arrested and had been sentenced through the courts in that county are now back in the county and reoffending. This wasn't an early release program. DOC's new director, Robert Patton, did restore earned release credits to thousands of inmates, but so far records put their recidivism rate at 4%, well below the state's 22% average. As far as overcrowding, Patton did come here to the legislature in March. He reported the prison system was 116% over capacity. But while he admits pulling all the inmates out of county jails didn't help the problem, he insists it didn't cause it. Patton says the truth is the state prison system's been overcrowded for years. It's just the department's prior leadership concealed that by backing up prisoners in county jails. It wasn't underhanded. I don't want, I, I don't want you to think that. It was just a way to manage prison populations that I don't agree with. When Patton took the job last year, he says he wanted to know the true size of the inmate population, which is why he started reeling in all the county backups. And the dominoes just continued to fall. Uh, I don't know if they knew exactly how many they had backed up in there. The official number when Patton came on board was just over 1,800. He says there were actually about 5,000. Oklahoma has a right to know how many people are incarcerated in the state. Well, now you know. 27,800, Patton says. And at the current growth rate, prisons will be 130% of capacity within a year. We have the space right now. Sheriffs say they can help alleviate the problem and shore up their budgets at the same time. Patton says he'll work with county sheriffs, but only if there's a contract guaranteeing minimal standards. Most of them want the backup offenders, but they don't want the responsibilities of the contract. He says they can't have it both ways. For Nine Investigates, I'm Alex Cameron. And now, My Two Cents with Kelly Ogle. There is an election I'll be watching tomorrow with curiosity, and I'll tell you why. Oklahoma has a lot of great communities, but none more historic, nor with more potential, in my opinion, than Guthrie. It is a short 20-minute drive from Oklahoma City. The restored Victorian downtown is a wonderful old place to visit, but old is the problem in Guthrie, too. Oklahoma's territorial capital has some school buildings that date back almost to that period. They're classic and once beautiful, but in disrepair. And since 2005, the voters there have rejected seven school bond issues designed to bring the schools back to just the present. Better schools mean more businesses. That means more jobs, more families, and a larger tax base to build even better schools. I believe Guthrie would boom if it had a school complex like little old Deer Creek has built out in the northwest corner of Oklahoma County. There's not even a town out there, but nice houses are going up everywhere because people want to put their kids in the Deer Creek school. And who can blame them? It looks like a junior college campus where the high school is. This Guthrie bond would simply be a start. One new school, an elementary school, and lots of repairs to the other schools. But there is opposition, so it's going to be interesting to watch tomorrow. I'm Kelly Ogle, and that's my two cents. And now, your weather with Oklahoma's own David Payne. Well, simply amazing. The wettest stretch of weather Oklahoma City has seen since 1890. Since 1890, and that's when we began, again, recording records in Oklahoma City this year. 2015, as of today, we've had 20, 20.34 inches of rain. How about that? 
And again, that's the most ever, all right? These are the top nine wettest years up until today from January 1. And our wettest year on record, we ended up with nearly 60 inches of rain, was back in 2007. And look where we were at the same time. We had just uh, under 19 inches of rain. So we're above that. And we'll see how things end up, but that was our wettest year on record. But this is the wettest we've been through today from January 1 here in the metro. Amazing. Look at these rainfall totals just the last two weeks. Not the last month. The last two weeks really tells the story. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12.61 inches of rain in Minko. 10 inches in Bowlegs. 9.5 inches in Shawnee. 3 inches in Guthrie. The rest of Oklahoma. 10 to 12 inches in southern Oklahoma. Out west, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight inches of rain. Folks, it has been wet, and there is more rain coming for sure. And it's all headed for Oklahoma. And it will start down south with the moisture down here. Look at southern Texas right now. Again, they have continued to put a big dent in their drought, and they're doing it again tonight. A lot of rain down here, and this will be flooding back north with this becoming a warm front as we get into tomorrow and tomorrow night. At the same time, storm system coming in from the west will give us a 100% chance of rain just around the corner, but not tonight. Here in Oklahoma City from our Air Comfort Skycam Network, 60 degrees. Man, a nice shot of downtown. The wind, this is nice. It is calm. Here in Oklahoma City, how about a 56 uh, in downtown Oklahoma City? 49, though. There you go. A little chilly now in El Reno, 56 in Guthrie. The rest of Oklahoma, a mix of 50s and 60s. The air is dry. And the winds will lay down, so with that, temperatures will drop off into the upper 40s and low 50s by tomorrow morning. Here's the jet stream to our north now, but watch what happens here. Our next storm comes in. There it is for Wednesday. It's all rain, a few rumbles of thunder, but a lot of rain Wednesday. That'll move out for Thursday, and then here we go Friday. Dry line sets up, very unstable on Friday with a chance for severe storms. The main storm comes out on Saturday with more severe weather with that. We'll quiet things down for Sunday, it looks like right now, into Monday and Tuesday, and then by next Wednesday, we reload. That's Wednesday of next week, and we do it all again. All right, rainfall amounts, one to two to locally three inches of rain on Wednesday into Wednesday night, ending Thursday morning. And we could have some more flash flooding with that. Flash flood watch in effect for Wednesday, northern central and southern Oklahoma. All right, lows tonight in the 40s and 50s with the north breeze. Let's talk about tomorrow. Highs in the 70s, the south wind, and for tomorrow, chance for showers and thunderstorms developing late in the afternoon down in southern Oklahoma. Let's jump ahead. Look at Wednesday. Indoor day. Yep, it looks wet starting in the morning throughout the afternoon. It looks like an all-day rain. Chance of rain Wednesday at 100%. And then for Thursday, severe weather developing out west, marching east, large hail, damaging winds, possibly an isolated tornado or two. And then Saturday, the risk of severe weather goes up. Tornadoes possible again on Saturday. Now, day forecast, there's your first three days, and then here we go. Wet Wednesday, we get a break on Thursday. Friday, Saturday, look stormy. A break on Sunday. Early next week, we quiet things down. And again, we got to watch Friday and Saturday. Amanda, back to you. Okay, David, News 9 is giving away $1,000 every day as part of our Grand at Your Hand giveaway. Right now, text the word HOT to 79640 for your chance to win. And we'll give you another chance to enter tomorrow on News 9 This Morning and News 9 at 6. Good luck. All right, Oklahoma running phenom Bryce Balancethan has a chance to secure his 22nd state championship this week. And this guy's incredible. Chuck Fisher tells his story. Sports is next. Upper crust wood-fired pizza, artisan pizza, unique sandwiches, and traditional Italian favorites, hot and fresh. Meet at the bar and choose from our extensive wine list. Upper crust wood-fired pizza, class and curve, and now open in Edmond. We've been thinking, a pitcher who can paint the corners is known as a Rembrandt. Who doesn't love that kind of precision? At GMC, we get that. Not everyone can deliver a 95 mile an hour Rembrandt. This is precision. This is GMC. Now during the GMC Spring Sales Event, get over 9,000 total value on specially equipped 2015 Sierra models in stock the longest. Welcome to the show. At Discount Tire, we're not just about tires. We're about people. We take pride in getting you the right tire at the lowest price for your vehicle. And right now, get a $70 Visa prepay card when you buy any set of four Michelin tires. This is CBS.
CBS Health Watch. And you see that one of the major side effects of prostate treatment is incontinence. You start to worry about it. Is this going to impact my lifestyle, the way I live, and what I want to do every day? The side effects of prostate cancer treatment can be complicated. Talk to your doctor and learn about all your treatment options. I'm very satisfied with the results, and I have no uh, side effects whatsoever. Sponsored by Procure Proton Therapy. Learn more about Proton Therapy for prostate cancer at Procure.com. Martial arts instruction is more than self-defense. It's self-reliance. But even a sensei needs support. Tinker Federal Credit Union has had Elijah's back every kick, punch, and step of the way. And the strength of Oklahoma's largest credit union lets him focus on his passion. Chopping wood. TFCU. We get it. Heated rear seats. Best in class front leg room. Sirius XM satellite radio. America's best warranty, 10 years, 100,000 miles. Plus, you can start the Elantra with your smartphone. See? Cool. Um, do you work here? No, why? Now get the Elantra for 0% APR for up to 60 months. Plus get a thousand bonus cash or get up to 2750 retail bonus cash. Visit buyhyundai.com. Upper crust wood fired pizza. Class and curve and now open in Edmond. Driven by your Oklahoma Ford dealers, this is News 9 Sports with Dean Blevins. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Midwest Sports Desk. The 5A state track meet is Friday in Yukon. A distance runner from Deer Creek is racking up an incredible number of state titles. Here's Chuck Fisher. In the two-mile race at the Class 5A regionals this afternoon at Putnam City, Bryce Balancefin finished second. First three uh, finishers automatically go to state. That finish says nothing about Bryce as a runner and everything about Bryce the person. He mentors other kids. And so if you see something less than what his per personal best is, it's because he's trying to help someone else. My friend Drake, who actually won the race, he and I just had the, had a goal of, of running a, a really solid pace. I could have gone faster, but at the same time, there's not really a need to. The future Oklahoma State Cowboy has won 17 state championships in track and cross country, seven team titles, and 10 individual championships, including the mile, two mile, and four by 800 relay the past two seasons and the 800 meters last year. He's also set two state records. He's one of the best in the country. He really is. Four years ago, if you would have told me that I would have broken the 20-year-old mile state record and uh, I think it was a 30-year-old uh, two-mile state record, I wouldn't have believed you. He can finish his high school career with 22 state championships if he wins every race he's running at the state meet this weekend. I'm not really concerned uh, that much about all these individual titles, I just want to do whatever I can for my overall team to win the state championship. Bryce wins big both on the track and off. He's a straight-A student, and his scholarship at Oklahoma State is both academic and athletic. In Oklahoma City, Chuck Fisher, News 9 Sports. Great story. Thank you, Chuck. The Oklahoma City Barons hosting Utica in Game 3 of the Western Conference semifinals. The team split the first two in New York that went to overtime. Comments start fast. Alexandra Grignier. With a nifty puck work to get it by Richard Bachman, Comets up two to nothing. Later in the first, the Barons give and go to perfection. Andrew Miller's wrister goes in off the post. Another close one, but Utica's late goal wins it 3-2. Game four here Wednesday night. NBA playoffs, Hawks and Wizards in a critical game four in Washington when we're back in a flash. I've had people tell me that Air Comfort Solutions needs a catchy jingle. Introducing Air Comfort Solutions jingle. That's the sound of the money you'll save with an air conditioning tune-up from Air Comfort Solutions. For only $99.95, you get a 28-point inspection, a free pound of Freon, a free one-inch air filter, and a guarantee that your air conditioning will keep running all season long, or this service is absolutely free. Your winning call seven days a week, aircomfortsolutions.net, 721-3740. It's easy. They come in and put your thermostat in, and it does it for you. I have a programmable thermostat that fits my schedule and fits the hours. 
I did a lot of work around the house. Work on the seals of the doors and all that. Change the lights. I live the way I've always lived, and I'm still saving money every month. Just coming from a standpoint of energy efficiency, as well as saving the money, I absolutely love it. Love it. It's a big screen. <laughs> You ready for the big game, huh, bro? <laughs> what if the rest of the world rewarded you like Riverwind Casino? What is this? That is a wild card. Nah. Right. <laughs> now we're ready for the big game, bro. Riverwind wild card members get more big prizes and most of all, more chances to win big at OKC's most rewarding casino. See you, bro. Schlotzky's is now serving the flavors of Italy. For a limited time, we're making three new ciabatta sandwiches, the Sicilian, the Tuscan, and the Caprese. We're baking a delicioso chicken Alfredo pizza. Marvel at our magnifico Italian chopped salad and a full boatload of new oven-baked pastas, each with our sourdough breadcrumbs baked in cheese on top. For the flavors of Italy, just travel to Schlotzky's for Viva l'Italia. Finally, there's a place in Oklahoma where the art of romance is alive. Where the art of relaxation soothes you. Where the art of winning excites you. Welcome to the Artesian Hotel, Casino, and Spa and the Artesian Arts Festival on May 23rd. Featuring renowned Native American artists selling their exquisite works. True family fun for everyone in Sulphur, Oklahoma. The Artesian Hotel, Casino, and Spa. The art of escape. Chickasaw Cultural Center, the thrill of ancient games and summer brings everyone outdoors. Our Memorial Weekend celebration welcomes the new season as Chickasaw culture comes full circle once again. May 23rd and 24th. Catch it. Mathis Sleep Centers and Tempur-Pedic have teamed up to give you the best offer ever on our new mattress. With up to $300 instant savings on the innovative new Temper Breeze collection. Plus a Visa gift card from Tempur-Pedic worth up to $300. Do the math, that's huge savings on America's favorite mattress. Plus 60 months no interest financing and a comfort guarantee that gives you a full year to return and reselect. No one gives you that kind of value and service but Mathis Brothers Sleep Centers. The Midwest Sports Desk is brought to you by Midwest Hose and Specialty. The quality you trust and the service you rely on. Midwest Hose, keeping the industry connected. Wizards can take a commanding 3-1 lead in the East Semis with a home win over Atlanta. John Wall's broken left hand has him in street codes a third straight game with the Wiz. Hawks control the game. Three of Jeff Teague's 26 are big. They're up seven late. But the Wiz can send it to overtime if game three hero Paul Pierce can do it again. No bank, no game. Atlanta finally plays like a one seed, even to series at two, winning by five. And the Warriors lead in Memphis by 18 in the third. Kevin Durant healing and still making money. Sneak peek at the KD8 Nike shoe featuring protection in the front of the midsole where Durant suffered that fracture. Sunglasses uh, sold separately. Uh -huh. And Tom Brady suspended four games and they're wow. fine, so uh, they got slapped big time. Yeah, they got hit pretty hard. Yes, they did. They uh, deserved it. Yeah, they did. Like it. Another nice day. Beautiful. Rain Wednesday. Welcome to U.S. Cellular. My family of four would like to switch to your best plan ever. You know you don't actually need four people to get our best plan pricing. Oh. You can connect anywhere between two to six devices, and we'll pay off your old contract. We'll just take the two lines, then, for a phone and a tablet. So, how long have you been married? Switching at two lines and eight gigs for just a